Hello, welcome back to Real, Real English. English with Real Teachers. Teachers. We are here in a lovely bar in London and we're going to show you how to use every tense in the English language in under 10 minutes. Are we really? Yeah, we are. Oh God. Okay, let's go. Before we jump into the conversation, we want to stress the importance of practicing tenses. Now the word tense comes from the Latin word tempus, which means time. So in English, it is the tense that allows us to indicate the chronological order of events and how they occur, occurred or will occur. Therefore, to be able to communicate and share our ideas effectively in both spoken and written English, it is extremely important to have a good command of these tenses. As English teachers, we know that you guys can complete any grammar exercise that we give you and you can fill in the gaps and get those grammar tenses perfect. However, when it comes to actually putting them into practice in a normal daily conversation, it all gets a lot harder, doesn't it? A great way to exercise the tenses accurately is to get yourself a native English teacher who is trained to target these tenses all within a natural, organic conversation class. For that reason, we've partnered up with Cambly, an amazing app which allows you to do exactly that. Not only can you develop your speaking fluency with a native English tutor from all over the world, but you can do this immediately at the click of a button. And even more, this is 24 seven. Harry and I, we work on a strict nine to six, what well, I do. I don't know about Harry, maybe he's a bit more lenient, but this app, you can get it whenever you want, wherever you want. It's ridiculous. So we really recommend you have a look at it. Harriet was having some real issues expressing herself in the past tense. So she gave Cambly a go. Let's see how she gets on. I mean, got on. Uh, hello. Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Harriet. So tell me, try and tell me a story about your childhood. Oh. Do you have a good memory from your childhood? Uh, my childhood is crazy. One time, <clears throat> I am walking in the park. Okay, one time, I was walking in the park. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. I was walking in the park and I fall over. Okay, and uh, I fell over. Ah, uh, I was walking in the park and I fell over. And I got poo on my leg. Oh no! <laughs> that was very good, you used the past. Oh, don't we love seeing Harriet brushing up on a spot of English? So she was using her free class with Cambly, and because we've partnered up with them, we've been able to get you guys a free class on us. So head over there through our link in the description box below and claim your completely free class. We hope you enjoy it. But first, stay here and enjoy a conversation between Harry and myself talking in tenses. Throughout this video, keep an eye on the timeline which we have put below because this indicates the tense that we are using in our conversation and the changes that we make between those tenses. Also, you will see that a gold star will appear occasionally. This gold star will appear when we use a grammar tense in a less common, irregular way. So you can check the description for each example. So uh, when did you move to America? I moved to America back in 2015. Okay. How long were you there? I was there for about two years. Right, how was it? It was amazing. Yeah, yeah, good fun. Well, before you moved to America, had you been to America before? I had been to America before actually, yeah. Back in 2002, I had been to America before. 
Okay. And how long had you been thinking about moving to America? I had been thinking about moving to America for a good nine months. And then things got a bit complicated. Bit of drama. She did what she wanted. I did what I wanted. And then... (laughs) And then things developed. Spicy. Oh. And what was it exactly that made you make that decision to 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 move to America? Cuz that um, must have been quite a difficult decision to make. It was quite a big decision, yeah, but it was uh, Stacy's very very romantic suggestion at an airport that I was transferring through back in uh, the September of 2015, I think. So she made this big gesture to show her love to me. And it made me come back to her the following Christmas to start our new year together. Okay. Yeah. And are you still with uh, Stacey now? No, she left me. <laughs> no, no, I'm still with her. So how long have you been together? We have been together for two, nearly three years. Are you living together as well? We are. We have been living together for two years and before Stacey has you lived with any other any other uh, girlfriends like ex-girlfriends um not properly not properly no I had properly. lived I had lived with them temporarily but we all knew it was temporary so we don't need to delve into that <laughs> okay okay so delve in like we don't need to explore that we don't need to explore that okay. delve into yeah we, we'll leave that okay. yeah leave um, it alone yeah. And what are you doing right now? Right this moment? Right here, right now. I am drinking my drink with my good pal Harry for our Christmas party or during our Christmas party. We're celebrating the Real English with Real Teachers first full year. Yeah. It's been, it's been a good year, isn't it? It has been a good year. It has been a very good year. Really good year. Yeah. Yeah. And how would you say the night is going so far? The night's going pretty well. Um, fairly strong. I think we've been to four places, each of which we've had good conversation mixed with a bit of work. We, we find it hard to detach ourselves from that. We but, do, yeah. But we, we realised that instead of banning it from our relaxation, we've found that we bloody love it. So it's inevitable. It's isn't true, it? yeah. We did originally say when we started this this channel that it would be a hobby as well as, you know, part of our profession. And it is that. Like it is a yeah. fun thing to do as yeah, well. Yeah, it's isn't really it? fun. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of this bar? Um, this bar, this bar is quite trendy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It it gives quite a sharp tasting cocktail, but it's it's trendy, relatively yeah. trendy. I think quite so. overpriced. But, you it know, we're in bit. London. It is a little bit, yeah. Most of the drinks were over £10. Uh, when I pay for a drink, I expect to get a little bit of change back for a tenner. Personally. Agreed. Personally. Agreed. I'd like to. I'd like yeah. to. Yeah. But we shouldn't expect it when you come to London because all the prices are sky high, aren't they? It's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're dead on. What are you doing uh, this weekend? Uh, this weekend, I am celebrating the new year. Yeah, okay. so still not got concrete plans, but either celebrating with Stacy and a friend called Steph that you know. Yes. Or celebrating with this old guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And what's the time now? The time right now is 7.30. 7.30. What do you think you'll be doing at 7.30 on New Year's Eve? I will be... Uh, scared about what option to choose because I still won't have made my mind up. Really? You think? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I'm an wow. indecisive one. So by 7.30 you will have been making your mind up for... I will have been trying to make my mind up for a long time. But by 8 o'clock I will have decided what I'm going to do at 12am. In your heart of hearts what do you really think you're, you're going to do on New Year's? Well, in my heart of hearts, I know that I want to spend it with Stacey because New Year's Eve slash day is when I asked her out 
So that's our anniversary as well. I asked her out in the bathroom though, so it's not the most romantic. <laughs> You asked her out in the bathroom? Yeah, in were our you doing friends. A, you weren't doing a poo, were you? No, she was. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, she never does poos. You know why I love you, Stacey? Your poos don't smell. I uh, I bumped into a, to a uni mate earlier. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do you remember Greg? <laughs> yes. Yeah? Yeah, it was one of his mates. He's called Johnny. He's on our course. Johnny? Yeah. You remember him? Like he sat, he sat next to Greg in our lectures. I remember Greg. I don't. No, I don't think I. You definitely, no. you definitely would have seen him. I remember once we were sitting right next to them, and we were actually speaking with Greg, and the other guy was there. So you definitely will have seen him. Is he? Is he got long hair? Uh, yes. Yes, he has, yeah. Okay. He's not much of a looker. Not much of a looker, yeah. His, his mate Greg, though, is good looking, but terrible personality. <laughs> uh, it's coming back to me now. The memories are flooding back. He was actually really funny. So if you combine those two in the right way, you make a good specimen. <laughs> yeah, bloody good human. Maybe it's like us. If you combine us in the right ways, you make a good overall teacher. <laughs> How long have you been teaching English for? How long have you been working in this profession? I've been teaching English, I've been teaching in this industry for <laughs> uh, four years and counting. Four years and you're counting. <laughs> no one else is. <laughs> so on the 28th of December 2018, how long will you have been teaching English for? Next December, I will have been teaching for five years. Five years? Yeah. Wow. And you think by then you will have learned everything there is to know about English? 100% not. No. I need to hit the books a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Um, what time are you going back tonight? Uh, probably um, just past midnight. Okay. What time do you arrive? Home. I will be getting there at 12.34 a.m. Okay, so you will have arrived by 12.35. I will have arrived at 12.35, yeah. 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 Okay. I will be in bed by 12.45. Alright, well I hope you have a safe trip, brother. Thanks, thanks. I hope you get home safely too. <laughs> so there you go. All the tenses of the English language in one 10 minute video. Before you go, in the comments section, try to create your own story with the timeline of tenses that we've done in this video. So go from the past to the future with all of them if you can. And try and get creative. And if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, where we use the tenses and we put them into practice, then do give this video a big thumbs up. And thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon. Ta-ra for now. Ta-ra. See you in the future. <laughs>